Hi, my name is Aleksandra Czetwertyńska and today I'm going to talk about Edu story of Centrum Cyfrowe. Centrum Cyfrowe is a small NGO in Warsaw, Poland. We work with open culture, we work on policy, educational policy, and also we work in uh, open education. And today I'm going to talk about one of our projects, Open Education Cooperative. We started, started it four years ago and um, we work with teachers and librarians and show them to show them how to co-create open education resources. And the most important thing that I want to say to you today is why we start this cooperative, why we start to talk about open education in this way and not another, uh, why we think it's so important to talk about open education in the schools not only universities or uh, libraries uh, and also why it's uh, and also i would love to invite you to work with us and to look at our methodology so we start to talk about this project with big conversation we speak with teachers we speak with uh, librarians with students uh, with uh, trainers we really want to see a whole panorama of open education and of uh, general education in poland and what we saw that this cooperation is one of the most important um, parts of education and there is a big gap between expectation and reality uh, so we really want to work with this uh, this subject this um, and cooperation mindset in in school but of course this is very important this is our foundation we also always come back to cooperation whatever we are talking about we just start and finish with cooperation but also we believe in learning that we are learn all the time and we need to be very open for this situation and if you are starting to work with us in our project, you need to be open for learning from each other, um, but also from your students, from uh, your students' parents and uh, from different educators. And even, maybe that's controversial, but even from uh, people not exactly connected with education. And if you are open for this learning, the adventure begins you can start to think differently. You can start to create your own materials, your own programs, your own um, ideas in the classroom. Um, you can also invite your colleagues. Uh, and of course, it could be scary. It's always a little bit scary, uh, but also it's fun. And um, if you are really ready for this adventure, that means that you are also very open and this openness is uh, something if we say that this uh, cooperation is foundation openness is like the roof of this foundation it's above everything uh, in every part of um, of our working and of of our work uh, we are thinking about openness and we are talking about this so we have these four pillars uh, of uh, of openness in uh, open education cooperative but why why we start with the teachers why why we think that it's so uh, so important to talk with, with them and to uh, to share with them this idea uh, first of all we think uh, that this culture of uh, creation uh, and also culture of sharing is very helpful to be um more connected to each other to uh, to make your work uh, more fun but also more uh, more um, helpful to uh, to your puppies to your students and uh, that, that's first uh, first thing second is uh, that it helps to um, to create materials that are really, really good 
fit to your students, to your classroom, to your pupils. So, um, and that's just important for uh, for many of uh, many teachers. And the last one is about technology, and it's about this education in uh, uh, online. That it's very very important that you have this opportunity uh, to share your work online and uh, to create create your work online that you can um, share with your colleagues and or you, with your puppies uh, without any fear that you are breaking the law or uh, that you just don't know how to do this. These open education resources are very, very helpful uh, in this situation. And why uh, why this project? Why would be, we believe that it's actually working? How to invite these teachers to work with us and how to convince them to stay with us. First of all, it's a process. We believe that you need time to change your habits. That's why uh, our um, online courses and offline courses, on-site on um, workshops, uh, they took time. You need to have time to, to finish them. And also you need to, uh, uh, to put some effort to finish them, them. But then you have these emotions. You can be scary, as I said, but you can be also very happy that you can share your work with your class or you can be proud of yourself, that you can show your uh, new product to your colleagues and you can uh, uh, put it on online and uh, show it on Facebook, for example. And... Uh, and I always like to remember that it's uh, that it's part of something bigger. It's not only uh, only us. It's a worldwide movement, and I uh, I think this is very very important. Not only for me, but for our teachers uh, that are working with us. And how it works? We have this research. We make a lot of research. Uh, about uh, online materials, about uh, remote education, uh, about different um, subjects uh, and what kind of materials uh, we are lack of. And then we have this on-site or online courses. And teachers are co-creating open education resources during them. And on the end, we have this networking and community building for them. So there, are, there is a forum for them. And there is also some, we have some uh, webinars for them. The, we invite them to uh, conduct different workshops for new, uh, for new teachers. So we are stay with, in touch with them. Uh, and we just try to give them new and new uh, opportunities. And to the, on the end, I just really like to invite you to use this, uh, this methodology. We have online course. You can see how it works. Uh, just uh, if you join this online course, it's very simple. There are some assessments, quizzes, materials. It's about open education and open pedagogy, copyright law, how to create OER and how to use OER. Uh, here you have this uh, uh, link. So uh, just go there, see how it works. And uh, if you have any questions about this or uh, if you just... Um, want to talk more about this, I'm very happy uh, um, to answer every, uh, every question and to uh, just to work with you. Thank you very much. And I hope we'll see soon 